Spice and Serenity, navigating the spectrum of Tamil curry, from fiery to tranquil. The tantalizing world of Tamil curry has always left enthusiasts with a perplexing question. How can a cuisine so rich in tradition, especially known for its spiciness, be suitable for babies, toddlers, and seniors? Many curry fans, while expressing their love for this culinary tradition, often shy away, citing its perceived spiciness as a deterrent. However, it's essential to debunk the myth that all Tamil curries are inherently fiery. Tamil cuisine, with its long history, has crafted delectable, spiceless curries and other delicacies tailored for the delicate palates of infants, toddlers, and seniors, for whom spicy fare is unnecessary. In the pre-chili era, black pepper-based curries were the norm and lacked the fiery kick associated with chilies. The introduction of chilies during the Portuguese era marked a shift, with spiciness now measured on the Scoville scale. The heat levels of standard Tamil chilies range from 30,000 to 100,000 shu, while some varieties saw to a million shu, making them too potent for traditional curries. Acknowledging the impact of chilies, the Tamils adapted, employing coconut milk to temper the heat. This practice became a hallmark of the post-chili era, spreading from Tamil colonies to places like Thailand, Malacca, and Japan. In these regions, as in Jaffna, virtually no curry is complete without the inclusion of coconut milk. This ingenious pairing of chili powder and coconut milk became a culinary tradition, offering a respite from excessive spiciness. The curry renaissance, accompanied by the influx of new vegetables, ushered in another innovation. White curries, often colloquially referred to as milk curry, due to the inclusion of coconut milk. These curries, characterized by their creamy texture, are intentionally low on spiciness. Occasionally, a couple of green chilies are added not for heat but for the unique flavor they impart to the dish. The advent of white curries made them a suitable choice for age groups that preferred milder flavors. Whether it's a simple white curry with carrots and potatoes or a more elaborate version with eggs, these curries became a comforting option for children and the elderly alike. In the realm of baby food, where commercial options abound, a homemade alternative stands out. A recommended choice is brown rice paired with a white curry, blended to a smooth consistency using a food processor. This not only offers convenience but also aligns with health-conscious choices for the little ones. So, from the spicy wonders that Tamil curry enthusiasts adore to the soothing simplicity of white curries, this culinary journey reflects the adaptability and diversity within the rich tapestry of Tamil cuisine. Here's something that will grab your attention. The curry houses in the UK, serving a version reminiscent of the pre-chili era, were never known to use coconut milk. Curry houses opted for an alternative, introducing double cream, which led to the creation of chicken tikka masala. While it is undeniably tasty and enjoyed by many initially, a growing number of people now steer clear of it, citing concerns about its high fat content and perceived unhealthiness. Moreover, the curry paste found on supermarket shelves contains sugar to reduce the heat, making it an unhealthy choice. Not only does it contain sugar, but many other ingredients shouldn't be there. In light of these concerns, curry lovers are refraining from returning to curry houses, contributing to what is now referred to as the curry crisis. Fortunately, the solution is already at hand, the Europeanized curry, also known as the Tamil curry. This curry is vibrant and remains popular among Tamils in their two primary habitats and worldwide. For the £5 billion curry business to thrive, supermarkets and pub chains serving curry to their regular patrons should consider adopting the Tamil curry option sooner rather than later. Embracing this authentic alternative not only aligns with changing preferences, but also addresses the health concerns associated with traditional offerings, ensuring the continued success of the curry business. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.